Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. Today I thought to myself, how can I make a video that's going to perfectly explain what is happening across all of the markets in a simple, easy to understand way that I can actually share with you guys that have maybe just barely started getting into crypto or potentially share this video with people that are looking to get involved. I've gone through and made a chart today that's going to perfectly explain exactly where crypto is headed over the next couple of years and it's going to give you guys a perfect understanding of how you can actually profit on this cycle and how you can actually tell your friends and family about it in an easy to understand way that's going to help everybody get on the same page together. It's really important that I make these videos because at the end of the day, my ultimate goal is to get as much adoption from all of the people that watch this channel as I possibly can. Recently, I've had a lot of new people starting to message me about getting invested in a crypto. Most of these people have no idea about any sort of investing experience at all, and they're still reaching out, which is why it's very important we talk about these things because we're getting ready for the next major retail wave. This is going to be a wave driven by retail FOMO, and this is where most of the profit potential actually comes from. So make sure that you guys stay all the way to the end of this video because this information is really what's going to separate the profitable from the unprofitable. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Make sure that you guys click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. And always remember guys, I have a Discord community with over 8,000 members. It's one of the fastest growing Discord communities out there. And I would love to have as many people that I can actually join this server, ask questions about cryptocurrency, as well as ask me questions specifically. It's a really good place designed to help you guys learn and get on the right track of profitability. On the Discord server, I also offer some of my more exclusive content like the video course and signals. The video course is 20 educational videos that teach you guys all of the strategies that I use, all of the courses that I've paid for, all of the mentorship is going to be taught to you guys in there. And the signals are actually just a really excellent way for you guys to copy my long-term portfolio as well as any of the other trades that I've been taking. We're up a lot of profit this month and it's only continuing to add from this point. So make sure that you guys check it out by joining in the Discord server. All you got to do is click in the description of this video and there you're going to find the invitation link. Once you guys have access, shoot me a message and I'll get back to you with all of the information you on how to sign up. Alrighty guys, we got a lot of really amazing things to cover today. I am super excited to make this video for you guys and I know that it's going to help simplify a lot of the concerns that you guys have in your head. So without further ado, let's jump right in the video today. Alrighty guys, now here we are taking a look at the altcoin total market cap. Today we're going to be looking at the altcoin total market cap and I'm going to be sharing with you guys how the past cycle looks almost identical to what we're seeing today and why there's actually no reason to be fearing all of what is happening. Right now we're in the most volatile point of the market cycle where we're, where we're basically at the bottom. This is where the markets are just dropping sideways for months and months on end until finally we get a sudden breakout. Is this breakout going to be on the downside? Is it going to be on the upside? You guys obviously know which way I'm leading, but I'm going to help simplify all of this in a really easy to understand way for you today. I wanted to be able to make this video for any new guy that's just getting into crypto. Maybe you don't have any investing experience at all. Maybe you're just wondering why is this so valuable? And maybe if you're wondering less about why it's valuable, maybe you're wondering on how exactly you can make money off of this. And so I'm going to go through and explain all of this today. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how this current cycle looks identical to the last cycle, how not only do they look similar, but the time frames line up identical, and how the market structure itself is one in the same. So let's go through here and talk about some things. First off, we're going to drop this to the regular time frame. Um, we're going to take it off a log scale, and we're just going to talk about some things. Now, nonetheless, this has been a long cycle. We've had the blow off top that happened in 2018, virtually right at that new year. And from that point, we have basically just been in a two year plus bear market that's been gnarly. For the last 500 plus days, we've accumulated sideways and we have failed to break lower or break higher. And so we're just kind of in this consolidation range. A lot of people are still learning bearish. I'm personally bullish because if we haven't broken out of this short term range going sideways for this long, which I'll pull up a, I'll pull up a tool for you guys to actually see, We've been going sideways for 538 days. 538 days for a market to just be trending sideways is a very, very long period of time. The longer the accumulation, the bigger the expansion. And so in this case, we've been going sideways for 500 days. 
when we get a breakout, whether it's on the downside or whether it's on the upside, no matter which way it goes, it's going to be very volatile. And so what we need to be preparing for is this inevitable breakout. And that's the thing that this video is gonna cover. Now, what we're gonna be looking at today specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at this pattern. We're gonna be taking a look at it from about right here. And we're gonna be dragging it over and we're only gonna be taking a look at the bottom formation structure. Because in my opinion, this is the thing that matters the most. And we're gonna go look at how the last cycle looks almost identical to what we're seeing today and why we do not need to be fearing all of this consolidation. And in fact, in my opinion, what I'm doing is buying the dip. Alrighty guys, now here we are taking a look at the early cycle from all the way back into 2014, 2015, and then from 2015, you know, to 2016. This was a long cycle. You know, we peaked at right around 2014. And then we went, you know, sideways for two years. Uh, and then, you know, we made that major bull run. And this is really the bull run that we saw back in 2017. You know, we went from basically valued at nothing, you know, five bill. And then we went all the way up to, you know, whatever the altcoins were valued at. It was a lot of money. It was getting close to a trillion dollars in total market cap. I know that Bitcoin itself was valued at almost a trillion dollars. And so it was a really crazy time. But here's the thing, guys. We need to be preparing for that inevitable outcome because everybody here that watches my videos, we all know that we're expecting to see a major bull run. We wouldn't be here investing into this market if that wasn't the case. I've been talking about it for years now. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been telling all your friends about it. But basically what happened was I got into crypto right here. That's when I got into crypto. I didn't even get in all the way back down in here when it was really cheap, I got in a little bit late after the breakout of this all time high here. And nonetheless, it was still a very profitable time. Had I just invested right here into some prized cryptos like Ethereum, I would have made over 100x returns. And that would have been the majority of all the other altcoins. In fact, I would have made higher than that just by holding. And this is the same thing that's gonna happen. Guys, if you would have been an investor, look at what happened. Wee! Wee! You would have made so much money in that process that you would have never had to work a day in your life again. Some of you are already in that situation and that's really the goal for this next cycle. And so what we need to talk about here is just how identical this current cycle, which is this black chart right here that I have, and the, and the last cycle back in 2014 to 2016 looks. So let's go down here and let's actually layer this over real quick and let's take a look here. Now, what you guys are gonna be able to see is that these cycles are pretty much one and the same. There really is not a lot of difference here. We get the same market structure. We get the same sort of consolidation. The only real difference is you guys see this big wick that popped up right here. Basically what happened was Bitcoin was chopping around and then it made this big pump. That's just a big pump and dump and it really is too volatile to even chart with consistency. And so we're only gonna be taking a look at this bottom structure right here. It's the only thing that we're gonna be comparing it to. But nonetheless, it still stays the same. As you guys can tell, we get the same sort of choppy action. After the initial sell-off, we kind of chopped around here, and then we sold off for one more final low. And they're roughly the same. They're almost identical in that regard. We got the same choppy action, and then we've sold off to one new low. Same thing happened here. And then we went to capitulation. And then from this point, you know, we make our first attempt at a higher high. This is where the market first starts to break out of these really low points in the cycle. And this is exactly what happened with Bitcoin just recently and the altcoins in general. Cause you gotta remember guys, this is this black chart itself down here is just an average of all of the altcoins inside of the market. So all of the cryptos excluding Bitcoin are labeled in this black chart right here. And then what happens, you know, in the, in the, in the most recent cycle was we rallied up and it was the same thing that happened right here. We got this correction, took us back upwards in the previous cycle resistance. And then, you know, we sell back down. And it almost looks identical even in this way too. We start to sell off back down. You know, we make another attempt to break out of this resistance here. We get rejected once again. Same thing happened just recently. And then we fall to our final low. Now, even though the final low looks a little bit different, don't get me wrong, there are differences between the two, but nonetheless, it's still following the same trajectory. Right here, we got rejected, and then we sold off for one more low. The same thing just barely happened with all this COVID panic. The only difference was this one kind of rounded out sideways, and this one was just a sharp, capitula sharp capitulation. 
And so because of that, you know, maybe it's possible that we do see a little bit of a short-term sell-off, just a tiny one, and then we go back up again. That's always a possibility that we need to consider, but nonetheless, it is also possible that we could just start breaking out. Maybe we get a short-term pullback and then just keep going up. It's hard to say exactly, but I'm not trying to share with you guys exactly what I think. I'm trying to share with you guys how the two cycles look identical and basically what's coming to every single crypto investor in the space because this is the most important thing. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't making money. You guys wouldn't be here if you didn't want to make money. I'm here teaching you guys the knowledge on how to actually make this money in the market and what we're seeing here is such a good opportunity, guys. I cannot stress that enough. Basically, this point in the cycle back in 2014 to 2016, right down in this point right here, had you have invested, you would have been looking at close to a thousand X returns if you would have invested into the right altcoins. Other altcoins would have got you 200 to 500 X, even if they weren't the right altcoins, which is still life-changing wealth. And the thing is, guys, I didn't get into crypto until up here. And I didn't even know what the hell I was doing at this point, and I still made a lot of money in the process. You guys are basically getting in right here the very ground floor of this thing, the very beginning of this entire bull market. You guys are getting into that and have the opportunity of making that life-changing amount of wealth. Don't squander this opportunity because I'm telling you it is once in a lifetime. This was, this was back in a time where pretty much the only people that use Bitcoin were drug dealers and nerds. Nowadays, Nowadays, it's anybody that is just smart enough and willing enough to just keep an open mind. You know, we've got all kinds of new people and new faces inside the community. I talk to a lot of you guys in my Discord server. Shout out to that. Make sure you guys join. Um, but it's really amazing that we're actually getting this same opportunity to do this all over again. Now, this is what takes me to the next part of the video. Let's actually kind of label what it could potentially look like for this next cycle because there's a lot of similarities that we need to point out here. Now, Now let's talk about some key things here. Let's remove that. Let's talk about time frames because this is the next thing that I want to talk about before we go into my long-term projections for where I think this could be headed. So next we're going to be taking a look at how all of these cycles actually line up with the time frames and we're going to look at the log chart so it's easier, easier to follow along. So basically the new year is the reversal point. We get January 1st of the new year is basically the exact cycle high. We go a year from 20, uh, technically this is 2014. So we go from a year from 2014, it takes us to 2015. For whatever reason, this is about the midway point of the cycle. And then we go a year from that, takes us to the end of the bear cycle entirely, which is right here. And then we start a brand new bullish cycle, right? The bull cycles last two years in time, which means we topped out in 2018. If the bull run started in 2016 right here, 2018 takes us to the cycle high. And then we repeat this same cycle again. So we get the cycle high here at the new year. Same thing happened right here. We start a one year bear market decline right there. So one year bear market decline takes us to about the halfway point of that cycle, which is about right here. And then we go another year from that point takes us to basically the exact bottom. Um, that is the end of the bear market. And that's actually where we start the inevitable bear bull market rise. So if we follow this cycle, this is the cycle high here. We're going to label that one red. This one's the cycle high here. We go to the midway point, which is right here. We'll label this one yellow. This one's the yellow midway point over here. And then we have the start of the bull market. We'll label this one green. And the same thing is happening right here once again. Obviously, the market structure looks a little bit different, but nonetheless, the time frames are lining up. And because the market structure still looks similar, if I were to, if I showed you guys at the start of video how identical this structure looks to this structure right here. And now, in my opinion, we just started the two-year bull market in 2020. So two years takes us to 2022, which is about right here. That's what we're going to be seeing over the next short period of time, over the next two years. We are going to be seeing roughly the same trajectory heading inside of these altcoins. Now, how parabolic is it going to get? I have no idea. It's impossible for me to actually know that. But what I can say is we're going to see something very similar to what we just saw in the last cycle. Alrighty, guys. Now, here we are taking a look at an overlay of that exact same chart. This is this is the 2015 or 2014 to 2016 Bitcoin or altcoin bear cycle. And then this is the current one that we're seeing today. We know that they're following roughly the same sort of trajectory both ways. But this, guys, is actually what it's going to end up looking like 
when we do get full blown bull season. And that's the thing is people were really underestimating the power of what a bull run looks like because when these things start to go up and they go parabolic, they go parabolic. And to be honest, guys, if you're not someone that's willing to buy the dip, buying all of this fear when the market's super cheap, you're not going to be the person that's sitting there making the financial wealth that you're looking for. Because this is a time where altcoins are more expensive. Yes, you can find low cap gems. You know, everybody's got their select few, but nonetheless, it's harder to find those. And, you know, when I invest in these markets, I put the majority in the high caps because I know they're still going to give me a high return, but nonetheless. But nonetheless, guys, there's altcoins out there that are going to do the exact same thing as what happened back in the last cycle. And if it follows the last cycle, it's going to look a lot like this, in my opinion. In my opinion, once we do start to see this major breakout start to happen, it's going to happen quickly. The pullbacks are going to be short-lived, and it's really going to be a very, very bullish cycle. And guys, this is the type of stuff that you're looking at. I couldn't even get the entire chart from the last cycle to fit on here because of the fact it's so parabolic. And it's gonna make this cycle look so small that you guys are gonna, you, it's gonna, I am at a loss of words. I am at a loss for words right now. That's how parabolic these things get. I mean, if we go and take a look, you know, Bitcoin in the last cycle, you're gonna know exactly what I mean because this is the same thing that repeats over and over and over again, guys. Over and over and over again. We can see that the same thing happened in the last Bitcoin cycle. Even if we only took the last Bitcoin cycle and overlaid it on the current altcoin chart, it would still look very similar to what we're seeing today. We get the bear market, the time frames line up almost identically once again. We get the new year reversal point. We get the first one there. A year from that takes us to almost the cycle bottom. A year from that signals the start of the bull run. It was the same three-year price process, and then we started a two-year bull market, which once again topped out perfectly in 2018. And that's the thing that we need to be paying attention for, guys, is Bitcoin already did this once. We already saw how parabolic markets can get when they break out of all-time highs, and we now have the opportunity to see it lived like this once again. This is the type of stuff that I'm looking forward towards. This is how we make that life-changing amount of wealth, because guys, you can go look any of the old cryptos from the last cycle and you're going to be able to see what happened and in fact dash almost looks 100 percent the exact same as the current cycle structure that we're seeing today there is hardly any of a difference right here and that's why it's super important that we watch out for this stuff because you know guys if we hide this we're going to see the dash actually looks a lot like what we're seeing today it's almost the same exact sort of accumulation consolidation um, obviously it can differ to some degree. The blow off top wasn't as crazy. The sideways consolidation was a little bit more volatile in Dash, but nonetheless, this is still the stuff that I'm expecting to kind of play out. When we do get the initial rally upwards like this, you know, we'll rally up quickly and then we'll hit close to this all time high mark and then we'll get that sell off back down. This is the same thing that happened with Dash in its last cycle. You know, we had the big blow off top, we corrected, we found this short-term support. We went sideways for a long period of time. And then when the bull run actually started, we went straight back to that resistance right here before we even got a real pullback. And then that pullback only took us a short ways back down. And so that's the type of stuff that we're dealing with here. And that's the stuff that we need to consider is because guys, market cycles are one and the same. There's virtually no difference between cycles. Um, there are gonna be some differences in how the market structure actually looks. But the way that the time frames line up, the way that even the market structure with it being different still looks almost identical regardless, there's more reasons to be bullish right now than ever before. And this is the type of stuff that we're going to see here. I mean, if to put that into perspective, you know, you guys see me labeling this chart and then I say that it's going to go up, but what the hell does that even mean for yourself if this chart does go up? Well, if you would have invested today, if you would have bought right now, just to the all time high, you're looking at about a 5x return which on other altcoins is actually much, much higher. You could buy XRP and you'd make 18X returns, which, you know, a 5X return if you bought today and held to the top, a 5X return, you would double your money five times over. So if you put in $100, you'd make $500 profit. 
um, if you put in a thousand dollars you know obviously you'd be having there with five grand profit and so that's the type of money that we're making right here but the thing is guys when this thing breaks its all-time high and it starts to go that's where the real money is made when it starts to do this type of stuff just going straight up into the air that is where the real money is made that's where you see the 10x 100x a thousand x returns for the lucky few and this is where I wanted to make this video talking about this stuff because really guys, I have a lot of people that'll hate on these videos. A lot of people will argue against the fact that we're gonna moon. They'll just call me a moon boy. And I don't want you guys to think that I take any personal offense to any of that because I don't. I know what's gonna happen to these markets. I know how filthy rich I'm gonna get. And I know how filthy rich everybody else that watches these and takes the time to invest is going to do the same. And that's what's important to me. Having you guys make that money alongside with me because I already know what's happening for my life. I'm, it's already set in stone at this point. Like I'm, I'm good. Um, but I want to be able to give that back to you guys. And I know that everything that we're seeing right now is just a, an exact replica of what I experienced back in 2016. Except we're actually earlier this time around. And so anyways guys, this is the video I had for you. I want to talk about all this today. Uh, make sure that you guys join the Discord server. It's free for anybody that wants to. All you got to do is click in the description of this video. There you're gonna find the invitation link. On the once you guys have access, if you guys want access to the exclusive content like the video course and signals, I really do recommend that you guys check that out. The video course is a really good resource to teach you guys all of the same strategies. You'll know exactly how I analyze analyze these markets. You guys will know exactly how to actually go about profiting based off of a trading plan. You'll be able to actually have a trading plan and know how to profit inside of these markets in a way that you probably don't right now because I know how hard it was when I first got into these markets. I know how much mistakes I made. I lost a ton of money in the process. And that's really what this course is designed to help you guys do is actually save your money and make more money in the pro in the process so you don't have to make all the same mistakes I do. Now, the signals are once again a really good opportunity for you guys to copy all the trades that I take. I really do recommend at least one of these things. If you're somebody that wants to learn how to profit inside of the market by yourself, obviously the course. If you're somebody that wants to just learn how to actually copy my trades and just make the profit that I'm making every day, you know, you can do that. Or if you really wanted to go all all into this 100% you could get both. I have a lot of trades that are actually in profit right now inside the discord We've been making a lot of money in there. A lot of members are very happy I really do recommend checking that out guys It's super easy to follow along with the trades and you have a really good opportunity of you know I'm sure it's a little bit of an investment to get started But that initial investment is going to be is going to be far surpassed when these profits start to roll in and the bull run really starts So thank you guys so much for tuning in and with all that being said I will catch you guys in the next video as always Peace out.